So March 6th is the next big date for Assassin's Creed Origins because patch 1.4.0 will be dropped tomorrow on March 6th and the patch sizes will be as followed. For the Xbox One it's 3.6 gigabytes, for PS4 it's going to be 2.9 gigabytes and for Steam 0.7 or if you're on Uplay 3.2 gigabytes. So the big patch for March is coming tomorrow. This is where it's gonna gonna add all the quests. I know the DLC is gonna come in here, like parts of it, before it even comes out, which is good because we'll have everything prepared for next week for March 13th. So let's get right into the stuff about this patch. So in the new features, they said they add support for the Curse of, of the Pharaohs expansion, it means they're probably adding the little little bits in so they can add the DLC in. And they also, this is a pretty unique one. I like what they're doing. Added a reward to the main game for completing Discovery Tour. D finish all 75 guided tours to f find out what the reward is. I like this feature because it actually go tells you to go do something. And we're going to get rewarded in game. I'm currently right now doing all the Discovery Tours because I didn't really do them all when it very first launched. The next one is New Game Plus. Fixing issue blocking the quest homecoming from progressing with Epitomies is knocked down by a blunt weapon. It's understandable that one. I didn't really run into that in New Game Plus. The next one is Discovery Tour. Fix an issue where Discovery Tour progress could be lost after reinstalling the base game without patching to the latest version. And then it says fix an issue that could limit the speed of amount in all areas i think this was a feature that was that when you go into certain areas with the mount that you weren't able to ride your mount at full speed which is a reasonable patch because it would sometimes take forever to get around discovery tour the next patch is for the hidden ones that you'll say remove the possibility of selling the mysterious papyrus at the bureau i'm guessing the mysterious papyrus it will want plus to sell it that's what i'm guessing so for the main game we've got under quest, fix an issue preventing the killing Stefanu archers objected from completing in the quest All Eyes of Us. Fix an issue preventing the player from giving the amulet to complete a dream of ashes. Fix an issue with mounts appearing in the fight ring during the quest Lady of Sla Slaughter. I'm actually really wondering what that <laughs> glitch looked like. The one where they spawned in the Lady of Slaughter because that would have been pretty fucking cool. To be honest, the next one is under gameplay. There's quite a couple in game for include enemy reactions to observing chain assassinations. Added the possibility of parrying with the shield while carrying the torch. Changed the description of the ha how Huey's bow, indicating that it has poison on hit ability instead of charged instant charge. Fixed the display displayed player level on a save game, which could drop back to fight after uninstalling an add-on, fix an issue preventing camp set I'm not gonna pronounce that from completing. Fixed an issue preventing the Aculus attire from appearing in the weaver shop. Oh yeah that's a DLC outfit that's probably why that's not supposed to pop up in there. Fix an issue with it with phalanx that would stop spawning. That's a very bad issue because we would like to see our enemies spawn. Fix an issue preventing the playable character from leaving the Chrono Opus Arena after performing a fast travel? Alright, that, that, that really does need to be fixed because we need to, that's one of the quickest ways to Chronopolis. Fix an issue preventing the playable character from controlling mounts of assassinated NPC. Alright, that yeah, I understand that now, is that we couldn't control them after assassinating them, which that, that we, when we assassinate, we're supposed to take over the mount. The next one is the world. Fix an issue that could prevent output of any sound when resuming the game after being intera interact. F PC. This is a PC, the next three are PC ones. So fix lower quality textures for lower and very low texture details. Fix flickering artif artifacts on multiple monitor setup. Fix resolution options while using portrait mode. The project, they're just not like your typical texture bugs that you would normally get on PC. And then we got one PC in here, but just the second one, it's in your system. Improved overall stability of the game's application. So there's been another stability patch for the game, meaning this game wasn't probably really good at stability, whereas PC is fixed issue pre preventing the completion of 
to say dot ef i'm not going to pronounce that to him after quitting the game with alt 4 after having activated the ancient mechanism and then it just says if you want to know more information contact the assistant that's pretty much the patch coming with this so this this big whole patch we're just going through it's not it's not humongous like we did with this monk in assassin's creed but in this patch it's basically just going over saying case of affairs is, is getting added in this patch but it's going to be locked until next week and that they're adding a secret war reward which i'm hopefully going to try and get for you tomorrow because i'm going to just grind out all these discovery tours for when this patch goes live anyway guys make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you very very soon goodbye